Well, what is going on, everybody? I am in a great mood today. I'm out at camp all by myself, and I got a lot of work to do. So, you wanna hang out? You wanna see what I do on just an average old day? I fix things, I put out corn, I cruise the ranch, and I look for things to do. First thing I gotta do, I gotta fix, yeah, right there. I gotta fix the Polaris. And I gotta get a shout out to my dad, Walt Arrington. Thank you so much, dad, I love you, And I appreciate all that you do for me, all brigade, mom, our family. You're an amazing role model and I love you very much. Thank you for all your help on the Polaris. Now, I gotta get to work, y'all. Take note, I'm nice and clean right now. I won't be by the end of the day. That is a hub. Make sure you get your spline lined up right. Because this spline, see that? See right inside there? That spline holds on to this shaft, and that's what makes the wheel turn. Get it just lined up just right. It'll start sliding there just like that. Good, 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 good. Always like to take a little pipe just like that so it doesn't go. Make sure it's seated. All right, you guys. This is proof that I put it back on, but it was a pain in the neck because I was missing one of my parts. I had to go back to town, come back out here. I put it back on and uh, just went for a big test ride. All good. Now let's go fill some feeders. So most people think, hey, you just put up a feeder, fill it full of corn, set it and forget it. Well, guess what? I don't know about y'all in the rest of the country, but down here we have these little pesky things called weevils. And they are disgusting and they destroy corn. They burrow into it, eat it, turn it into like a powder or something. I don't know what they did, but all I can tell you is once they get into your feeder, you gotta get rid of them. Now, I'm gonna have to do some research on exactly how to get rid of them so I don't keep going through corn. I believe seven dust will work, but I don't wanna contaminate corn so nothing eats it. If you wonder why we do this, we do all this because we enjoy the land. We enjoy seeing game, we enjoy hunting game, we enjoy the fresh air, we enjoy this. And uh, Larry Baker, I love you brother. Everybody, this is a good friend of mine, Larry. And last year, we hunted together an archery hunt. And I was convinced I had lost the footage. But two days ago, I was going through chips and I just so happened to find this hunt. We're in a tree stand and I'm looking at a deer right now. This is Larry. How old are you? 50. Larry's 50. Has a great job. And is single. I'm just saying. He lives in Jupiter, Florida. And he loves to hunt and loves to fish.
PSE did it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Larry Baker. Thank you, Robert. It was a good hunt. <laughs> <laughs> How close was that doe? Yeah, the doe was about eight, six, seven yards from us. Yeah, and the hogs ran her off. Yeah. All right, you guys. Came in here, perfect wind, perfect setup. Saw four or five deer, bunch of hogs. We go. All right, Larry Baker. You didn't think this would ever be on YouTube, but you were wrong. Actually, I didn't think it was ever gonna be on YouTube either. But everyone else, you remember whenever I just cleaned that deer and I was talking about a football roast? There it is, football roast. And I was just dripping it on the ground. This is how I do it. Cast iron skillet with just a touch of olive oil because I wanna brown this thing. And then you'll see why it's so tough. Take your knife, cut right down the center. Look how pretty that is. But it's got tons of, of, a, of silver skin, like layers of it in there. What I'm trying to do is get it opened up so it lays flat. Now, if you were to just try to cook this, it would be tough. That's why we're gonna do it in a, in a slow cooker. Get plenty of black pepper on it. And this is the original Everglades with no, no MSG and reduced sodium. We're gonna have sodium, we're gonna have salt already in our stock, so we don't need a lot of so, uh, salt on our meat. Man, this is gonna be so stinking good. And it's, uh, it's 9.33 at night right now. As you guys saw, actually you only saw a little bit, but I was on the ranch all day today doing stuff. And whenever I'm by myself like that, it's hard to film and work because it's just hard. So did a ton of work and, um, and then obviously I showed you guys hunting with Larry Baker and now We're gonna make this so that it slow cooks all night long. Tomorrow, it'd be ready. How do you like the glasses? I mean, like, is it me? Watch this. Just trying to give this a nice little brown look. Just like that. You do not have to do this. I like to because as you caramelize that meat, you just get a lot more flavor. It becomes more live. Throw it right in our slow cooker. So the meat's in the slow cooker. I'm going to use some Tuscany chicken broth. I just use a whole box of it. Add our carrots, add our mushrooms. This is a mushroom onion soup mix. Throw that all right in there. Uh, throw in, there's a, uh, four little sweet potatoes. The doctor them right in there. This will give it a wonderful, fresh feel. Take a nice sharp knife and cut some big old fat lemon zest. Always twist your, your zest that it extracts all the oil. It's on low heat. We're gonna leave it there for, let's say 10 hours. We'll see how it turns out. All right, good morning, everybody. We have liftoff. Put this in last night at 9.30, and uh, it is now nine o'clock, so it's basically 11 and a half hours. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Look at that meat. Just.
just comes right apart. That right there, y'all, is amazing. Big old fat mushroom. But this is why we're all here. Look at that football roast. Just cooked all night nice and slow. Fall off the bone tender. Mmm. Tender, moist, juicy, super flavorful. Oh, I just got some of that lemon zest. Oh, so good. That is what the doctor ordered. So glad you guys were a part of this and uh, hope you enjoyed the video today. I got a lot of big stuff coming up this week. We got some really cool trips, some really cool videos and uh, appreciate you being a part. 2018 is just coming on strong. Love you guys, but we're gone.